Hi everyone, this is Little Tech Dude. I'm here with a uh, preview for you of iPhone OS 4.0. Uh, this was just previewed yesterday by Apple, and um, I just wanted to give everyone a, a little demo of what they added. Um, this is nowhere near a done operating system. Actually, I'm going to be removing it once I uh, finish this video because. Uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, and that's why they're calling it a developer preview. But anyway, uh, let's get right to it. Let me enter my passcode. Alrighty. Have the camera focus on it here if I can. There we go. Well, anyway, um, biggest difference you can probably notice right off the bat is that there's a wallpaper in the background. They added that, so you can add... Um, wallpapers to your home screen now so you don't have to have the default uh, background that they uh, mandate you had before and to do that you just go into here and set up wallpaper here I'll just pick this one and you would go to set and you can set it as home screen lock screen or both I'll set it as both just as an example you can exit out of that, and there you go, it's in the background now. Um, the second biggest thing that they added was the multitasking. Um, I shouldn't have called the wallpaper a big thing, it's a small thing, but the first major thing that they touched on um, at the uh, preview event they had yesterday was multitasking. And as of right now, that means absolutely nothing, because... Uh, the way multitasking works in an iPhone OS 4 is developers have to code their applications to use these uh, APIs that make it multitasking aware. And, of course, all the applications out there right now are only compatible for iPhone OS 3.0, so um, they haven't taken advantage of the multitasking API, so there isn't any at the moment. But to access that, once it's going to be fully available, you just double-click on your home icon like that. I come on my home screen here, can scroll around, open up Safari, can open up weather. Well, I got a little bit chilly here in Harrisburg, but and say open up Bing. Alright, and can exit out of that and the way multitasking would work is if it really worked, um, you you have these, once you double click here, you have these icons on the bottom of applications that are uh, in the quick view um, mode, if you want to say. It, they are not actually running in the background, they're just quick, quick um, launch, quick launches for apps that you uh, have recently opened. For example, if I click on Bing, you'll notice it opens the app again. It wasn't exactly running in the background. Um, none of the apps I've tried so far, even the built-in iPhone apps, uh, have any background capability as of yet. Um, so everything still launches from the uh, its main startup view. Um, the second major thing that they touched on was the addition of folders. And as you can see, I've got plenty of folders here. Um, news, for example, uh, when you uh, create, when you have a folder created already, uh, you just click on it, and it brings up a menu inside the home screen that you can uh, click on any of the apps that you have. Um, and to create a new folder, I'll just make an example here. You simply hold down on one of your existing apps that you have, and then drag it into another one. Here I'm dragging it into game star defense. And then it'll create the folder and you can choose what you want in it, the name of it, stuff like that. And I don't want to do that so I'm just going to drag that out and it'll delete the folder once there's nothing left in it. Um, I, at first I thought this was going to be a great feature that they added but I quickly discovered that um, it's not nearly as good as I thought it'd be. The reason for that is that a folder can only hold nine apps at a maximum. It cannot hold any more than you see here. Only nine... Well, I'm sorry, twelve. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at counting, I know. 
but uh, it can only hold 12 apps. And if you are like me and I've got 300, 400 apps on here, half which I probably don't even need, it's, you know, quite a pain to get them all, you know, organized. See, I've already got, like, six game, five, six game folders, one's back here somewhere, and uh, I've not even nearly put half my games in folders yet. I've got about 100 games installed on my phone here, so it would take me about 10 app folders to get all of my games into folders. And yeah, they improved it to make one icon be accessible to 9 applications, or 12, I'm sorry, I keep saying 9, but, you know, for me, that's not enough. I would rather them make one major folder and make it scrollable so you could see you know, if you wanted to put everything that you have into one folder and then just make it scrollable to see all of them, that would definitely definitely be what I would want. Um, um, if you're wondering as to why I'm going to be going back to iPhone OS 3.1, uh, is because right now um, almost all the apps that use any type of outside data uh, crash at this point because of API changes that Apple made in the OS that these apps don't recognize yet because of the compatibility issues. For example, if I click on news here and try to go into New York Times, it'll start loading the app uh, and it'll start loading the news, but once it processes it, some, t some point when it's accessing the data, it doesn't know what to do and it crashes. And basically, every app that does any type of um, external data calls using some sort of API will crash. Uh, to do my favorite to do application does the same kind of data call and it crashes as well. There we go. So, yep, definitely not ready to be used yet. Um, I guess that'll be one thing to see in the future. Uh, I don't want to run out of time here. One of the other things that they added in iPhone OS 4 is this Game Center. And what this will be once it's finally live, uh, well it is live but there's nothing using it yet. Once some, once uh, it gets used within the uh, release of the actual operating system, you'll have a Game Center which is basically a social networking system for games and you'll be able to uh, match make with players online using games and not a lot like in the same fashion that Xbox Live uses. Um, I can't demonstrate that now right now because like I said there uh, it's not in any of the applications and you can see by the sandbox uh, label they have up there. It's simply a sandbox app right now. Um, I was hoping to see the iBooks application added into the OS by default, but um, like on the iPad, I believe you would have to get this from the App Store once it finally launches and it is not there at the moment. So um, unfortunately I can't uh, read Winnie the Pooh to you as I make this review, but oh well. guess we'll have to post that for a later review. Um, that's really it. That's the biggest things that they've added to iPhone OS 4. Um, they did add iAds, which is their new mobile advertising platform, but that's again, needs to be implemented by developers, and I don't think there are any apps out there on the store right now which are iPhone OS 4 capable. I doubt, highly doubt that, because Apple usually waits until the last week or so to release those apps on the store. So right now, it's pretty much a broken iPhone platform, broken software, so I'm going to be going back. One thing I have noticed right now that's a little bit of a pain is I'm sitting here right next to my iPhone and my Bluetooth headset is cutting in and out, so I think they need to fix some Bluetooth things in uh, future updates because it's losing signal even though I'm sitting right next to it, and I did not have that problem on the iPhone 3. And one last quick thing to add uh, before this ends here data calls um, sometimes I think if Wi-Fi is still active it um, and but you're not connected to a network it does not switch over to 3G it still tries to use a Wi-Fi connection which isn't there so